go out to the coast and it would be fine but the reality is that the waves are surging meaning that they're coming up on to ground further than they've had in the past and especially in little bays and alcoves like in santa cruz san luis obispo and up in crescent city the water gets trapped in those little areas and it just pushes up into the uh, to, into the residential neighborhoods it pushes boats out of harbors it causes damage so even though the surface may seem normal what's going on underneath is quite violent and i know in places like the channel islands or catalina uh, just because this wave is coming from the west you're not safe if you're on the east side of the island. The, the water lifts up all around, right? Right, and in fact, we just got a report from uh, Hawaii that they're having what they're calling a wraparound wave, where the actual wave's wrapping around the island, and the two waves are meeting together, creating a bigger wave, wow. and it's traveling inland up to 500 feet, and it's flooded a hotel there, and they're having some problems. So this is far from over, and it's still a very dangerous situation, and we really need people to heed the word of their local officials. When they say to evacuate, you really need to do that. Kelly Houston with California's Emergency Management Agency. Thank you.